Hello, Daphne. We can see you here. So you can hear us, but we can't hear you yet. You can see us, but we can't see you yet. So everyone wave at Daphne. <laughs> Not sure what's going on. <laughs> can hear you. Hello. Not sure why you can't see me. Bottom <laughs> left. There's a button bottom left that says start video. There we go. All right. There you go. So you're outside Saskatoon? Yes. Yeah. North of, yep. North of, okay. Lay in between Saskatoon and PA or north the other way? In between Saskatoon and PA, correct, yes. Oh, really? Okay, I've driven driven past your town. Ah. Yeah. So. No, I drive up Sometimes. towards PA to go to work. Okay. Our, the family farm on my dad's side is in Garrick, which is uh, near Choiceland. Yes, yep, yeah. I know where that is, yeah. Garrick's a little bit further down and, a, and quite a bit smaller. The, the school for all the little towns is in Choiceland, so that's why, that's why I said Choiceland. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> Where is Humboldt from you, Daphne? Pardon of me, Humboldt. Where's Humboldt? Um, I'm about two and a half hours. Oh. Southwest. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I have family there. Yeah, I have a friend that works there. The a friend of mine, his son manages the co-op. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. Mike. Nice work, Mike. Very I don't know nice. How to do it, and I'm not going to. Say it. Say it. Say it. I'm not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering who was going to be the first one to do that. I think he's got a cat filter on his face. Yeah. Oh. Uh, wonderful. All right. So while we wait okay. for Michelle, I should. Uh, mention it's Lyle's 47th anniversary in two days. Ooh, yeah. happy anniversary. That's a big Thank big you. deal. That is that's a huge big deal. Yay. Yeah. What's the secret? Dinner on Wednesday. At the Bowen Stern, some fish and chips or something. Mm -hmm. Where is the filters, guys? I'm just curious because I've got a staff meeting tomorrow doing some over training and I want to kind of pull that prank oh. in the morning. <laughs> Boy, it's, um, it was um, took about an hour to get a cat filter on. There aren't any in Zoom. I had to download something. You had to download it. Okay. Nope. Sounds good. I can send you instructions if you want. You know, it'll be okay. I just, <laughs> for Monday morning, it might just be a little bit, ugh. Alrighty. I'll try it another time. So Daphne, do you have uh, do you see the screen on the left that says uh, uh, crowd per narratives of the civil rights movement? In your Zoom there, do you? Yes. Okay, you need that on another web page or on your phone or something, because that's that's where you're gonna enter the answers. You got uh, you got both you got both links from Aaron, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's Are on my phone. To... Okay. Are you logged into the quiz already? I think so. Okay, I better get logged in too. I'm not. I'm always, it says uh, game will begin shortly, so I think I. Okay, am. yeah, you're in then. Uh, let me let me get myself in too. Okay. I'm showing four players. That means Mike is not in yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm in now. All right, we ready to go? I am ready. I'm ready. It still shows four on yeah. my screen. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay. There it is. There we be. Why did Rosa, then Macaulay, move from Tuskegee to Montgomery? A, when her parents separated, her mother and the kids moved to the grandparents' farm. B, her uncle took her in after both her parents were killed. C, her father ran afoul of the local clan and moved the family away from Tuskegee. Or D, she was a very good student and Montgomery schools offered better opportunities. My, my. So 
you've got four minutes and 24 seconds to answer. And if you were to answer right now, you'd get 86 points. So the, the, the quicker you answer, Daphne, the more points you get. But everybody gets all the time they need to find the right answer. That's how, how this works. That's what makes this okay. really different. I'm hitting on D, but I don't know if I'm in. Oh, um, there's going to be the, um, the Zoom version, and then there's the, uh, the yeah. You got to answer right on your phone, eh? Not, yeah. Not, uh, not on not on the Zoom screen. Yeah. I have yes. one vote. The heck am I doing? So while um, people are Googling answers, I'll just ask, does anybody remember Tuskegee from our Booker T. Washington session? Yeah. Does anyone uh, know what else Tuskegee is famous for? Uh, the uh, Air Force Group, African Air, Air Force oh, Group. That's true. Yeah. That wasn't where I was thinking of, but that, that happened too. Red tails. Yeah. That came from my peanut gallery. <laughs> I watched some movies once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> there were some terrible medical experiments that happened there too. Um, of course. <laughs> These glasses are gone. Sorry, I'm also watching the curling game. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have voted, so I'm allowed to watch. Okay. <clears throat> you have three votes, Jen? I have two. Okay, so let's give a Uncle Lyle and Daphne time to time to Google. I'm, I think I answered. I'm still I trying answered. to do this. So Daphne, you're clicking D and nothing's happening? Yep. <laughs> that's my oh. answer, everyone. But that's what I'm clicking. And you're you're logged Where into your you? quiz, right? Yep. Like at the very top left, it says yep. uh, your name. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. Yes. Me with zero points, but yes. <laughs> you want to try resetting, Jen? Well, we could, sure. Like the whole clear responses and so, so. Do you want me to log in? Uh, I'm just, I'm struggling to find where I do that. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, or I'll just log in and walk through. Uh, Crowper, Crowper. Do, 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 do. Log in, log in. Okay, so um, in the control center, yes, you just hit um, the stop uh, to finish the game. Oop. Okay, finish. Yeah. Okay. Then, then the game's finished. Way to go, Uncle Lyle. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's my uncle, but because I call him Uncle Lyle, it's be, he's become yeah. everybody's uncle. We all call him Uncle Lyle. Yeah, okay, I'll be your uncle. Yeah, I can be the uncle. <laughs> all right, and then I'm just going to do a reset, Jen. Okay, uh, that's that swirly thing. Yeah, and I'm going to clear the crowd responses, so that makes Uncle Lyle no longer the winner. And dun, dun, dun. Uh, hit um. Hit play, Jen, and it should work better this time. Okay, there you go. Is it working for you, Daphne? I'm still having trouble, but. What's it showing? This is the prize. Nice. Oh. Those are sharp. Very sharp. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to be clear, Daphne, you're clicking in the crowd tour thing, not the not the screen on the Zoom screen. 
Correct. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That, that was a very, do you have, does it have gas in the tank question, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> it is Sunday. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have two votes. The third is mine. We have three. Yeah. I'm gonna plow ahead and see if it works for Daphne next time. Yeah, go to the next one, see what happens. Okay, the correct answer was A. When her parents separated, her mother and the kids moved to the grandparents' farm. Question two. How did Rosa Parks manage to go to the Highlander School in Tennessee? A, she worked her way through school as a seamstress. seamstress. B, a liberal white couple who she worked for helped sponsor her to attend. C, her mother used her connections and knew the head register. D, her mother, both grandparents and her husband all worked to make this happen. Is it working for you, Dad? Nope. <laughs> Still playing. Did it change to, to Q2 at least? Yes. Yep, I'm there. Strange. Are you doing the quiz on your phone or are you doing it <laughs> on your laptop? On my phone. Two votes. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, hey, about either way, I'm either way, I'm learning, right? Yeah, so true. <laughs> and it's my first try. Yay me! Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone click through and um, read up on um, Highlander School? No, I just took a guess this time. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Highlander I'm, I'm School well, is guessing. a social justice leadership training school and cultural center, and. Uh, John Lewis went there, and Martin Luther King Jr. went there as well. There as well. Three votes. <clears throat> That'll be all we're getting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just go. Yeah. Okay. The correct answer was a liberal white couple for whom she worked helped sponsor her to attend. Nice of them. Okay. Question three. To what was she referring when Rosa Parks told her biographer, you might just say Maxwell opened my eyes up? A, Cassandra Maxwell, first African-American woman admitted to the SC bar. B, Sherman Jocko Maxwell, Negro League baseball mm -hmm. sportscaster. C, the story of Susanna Maxwell, whose family fled to Upper Canada in the late 1850s through the Underground Railroad. Or D, the integrated trolleys she was allowed to ride at Maxwell Air Force Base.
You have two votes. Okay, I'm voting D. Here it comes. Oop. We have three votes. All correct. The integrated trolleys she was allowed to ride at Maxwell, Maxwell Air Force Base. Wow. So proud of everyone. That's great. Go us. Go us. Look at this. Mike's uh -oh. in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness you guys gotta try <laughs> okay question four how did the wpc respond in 1949 to robinson's proposed bus boycott how did montgomery manage situations where the first four rows on a bus wouldn't seat all the white riders okay. a white riders would stand in the front rather than sit in the colored section B, instead of standing, white riders would choose a seat in the colored section and ask all the black passengers in that row to vacate. C, the bus driver moved the sign that separated the bus. Black riders had to move behind the sign or if there wasn't room, get off. And just to clear up, the second question is the real question. The first question is a, a big Mike Young typo from the last time we used this quiz. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. My, my bad. You have an Apple phone, Daphne, or a Android? Apple. Two votes. If if you refresh, it's safe. That's the that's that little um, round thing. I did try that once, but we'll see what happens. Oh, you tried that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you know about that? Yeah. It it doesn't boot you out. I've uh, done that, had to do that before. Okay, we have three votes. Yep. One for each answer. <laughs> <laughs> the correct exactly. answer, however, is C. The bus driver moved the sign that separated the bus. Black riders had to move behind the sign, or if there wasn't room, get off. Yeah, that, uh, I was surprised when I learned that. They actually, they had a sign, but the sign, where it normally was, but if they needed to move it, they would. Right? So. Oops. Okay, question five. Who was the driver who had the police yeah. removed parks? A, James F. Blake, a driver with which she had a history. B, Lorenzo Anello, the driver who left her in the rain earlier that year. C, Miss Crabtree, yeah. who also drove the trolley at Maxwell Air Force Base. Or D, John Harris, a man who went to Rosa Parks Church.
We have two votes. Okay. There we go. We have three votes. Two correct answers. The correct answer was A, James F. Blake, a driver with which she had a history. All right. I was wrong. I'm trying not to win because that looks bad because I know all the answers. So that's why, um, Daphne, that's why Jen tells me how we, that we have two votes so I can go last to get, so I don't get many points, but I still get to play. So. Ah. <laughs> But uh, there's so many wrong answers that I, I was pulling ahead, so I had to fix that. <laughs> well, my guess there, if it had been a lady, we'd all know about it. Yeah. Did anyone um, catch the part uh, about how Blake had a history? Like what, what happened to Parks? Yeah, I was reading it here yeah. and insane. Yeah. He kicked her off the bus and then, wow, it just, yeah, pulled her to re-enter from the back when she came up at the front and then had her off the bus and then took off without her. Mm. We've got nine minutes left, so you don't do all that. Okay, question six. <laughs> Who's member? Jen's frozen, but you can vote. If you, can, if you can read the, you don't need to wait for her. <laughs> you find the answer, go ahead. Memoirs contain the line, actually no one can understand the action of, can let me know when, when I'm unfrozen. You're unfrozen. I'm frozen. Oh, I'm frozen. You are unfrozen. Okay. Okay. Well. Mm. Is anyone watching anything for Black History Month? Oh. That's I watched a couple of different things about the one uh, documentary on PBS about the uh, black church, which was pretty uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. And another one about uh, driving well black, which was very interesting. Yeah, I caught the black church as well. There's a second part uh, coming up and that was uh, really cool, especially to yeah. see some of the stuff that we've already learned about, you know, like the church was, um, when you went to Sunday school, if you were black, that's that was your education, right? So that was, learning to read and stuff like that and that's uh, it's all okay. happening there votes are in we have two correct and one incorrect the correct answer was martin luther king jr mm -hmm. question seven after being driven out of montgomery to detroit who did rosa parks help get elected and then work as a secretary for a mayor jerome cavanaugh b congressman james conyers c senator philip hart or D, Governor George Romney? Yeah, I voted Jen and we're just waiting for people to Google. <laughs> I have to change up how I do the twos. Yeah. <laughs> Just to speed things up, I've, I've been voting wrong right away. But we're, we're okay, we got six minutes, I think we'll be okay.
Oh. Well, and Daphne, yeah. the last question is always lightning round. Yep. Okay. <laughs> for, ne for next time when the quiz is actually working for you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> No idea. Google oh, is the correct answer was Congressman James Conyers. Ooh. Then we had three different answers. Three different answers. <laughs> Who's winning? Okay. Second to last question, question eight. Why did Rosa Parks move from her central Detroit home to Riverfront Towers, a secure high-rise apartment? A. She was getting on in years and had friends who lived in the building that would check in on her. B, developers tore down all the homes in her affordable neighborhood. C, a home invasion left her hurt and badly shaken. D, she didn't need the space after her husband passed away. So what do you think? Should we send Daphne the, sh the shirt anyway? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Agreed. <laughs> we have three to give away. So we'll give away two tonight. And we'll give <laughs> one another time. Mm. Spell the same address, Daphne? Where yes. Address now? OK, there we go. <laughs> So the next question is a lightning round, Daphne. So you don't even wait until for Jen to finish. You should, you should have answered before she's even said three words because uh, there isn't much time and there's a lot more points up for grabs. Okay. Uh, all the votes are in. The correct answer was a home invasion left her hurt and badly shaken. Well, let me jump in before you launch the lightning round. Did anyone catch that um, the neighbors hunted the guy down and beat him up because Rosa Parks was the hero? And then they had to move him to a different prison for his protection. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't read that far, but wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Go, neighbors, go. Here we go, kids, for all the big cheese sandwich. Question nine. How did the cities of Montgomery and Detroit recognize Rosa Parks after her death in 2005? Epic punk rock music festivals reserved the front seats of their city buses for her, week-long horror movie festivals, or they held a tiddlywinks tournament for teams from Montgomery and Detroit. <laughs> that is just full of Mike Young errors. <laughs> yeah, that's that's for sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Punk yeah. Rock in 1955 was pretty awesome. Yeah, I can only imagine. <laughs> we, we try to be these obvious. <laughs> 29 years before I would have been even thought of. Okay, yeah. do you guys see a different color when you're answering as yeah. well? Okay. Yep. Well, one is green and the other three are red. I don't know. It should be a hint, but. I'm not sure if that's a hint or a clue or it's been off or, before. Or red herring. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dun, da, da, da. Daphne is the big winner with 643 Yay. points. Yay, Daphne. <laughs> okay. Ah. A close, coming in a close second, Aaron was 642. 
Hey, screen grab that quick because we're getting cut off in less than a minute. <laughs> Who won? <laughs> thank, you. thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Photoshop uh, Daphne and 643 points in there. Yes, we'll be doing that. <laughs> It'll be well, creative. The best. Our It'll integrity. Be creative. <laughs> all right. Well, stay tuned, everybody, so you don't miss the next one. Invite all your friends because yes. uh, let's learn together. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Have a good night, guys.